So welcome to the Q&A uh, session video about the flow cytometry method. And really, I'm going to focus on the main things that you may see in exams. And this is taken from, from, a, from a final in 2011. And there's not a whole lot that you can ask about flow cytometry. So really, I've just taken the, the essentials and, and um, from, the, from an essay question that was in a final. And this, all these ingredients can basically be asked in a true or false or relation analysis form. So I've chosen this essay form just because it could be considered more difficult. So let's see if we can give it a go. Describe the functionality of a flow cytometer. And really, when we're talking about essay questions, and I keep bringing it up to make sure you have the right idea, you need to have key, key words or key phrases present in order to get credited. And that's how you would get credited. So how I would say the functionality of a flow cytometer, I would say that cells are being suspended. I'm just going to write the key words I would say. Suspended in sheath fluid, sheath fluid, and are transported in a single file, single file, and a laser beam, or we can say an arc lamp, or a light source is being shown on them and scattering scattering the light light scattering gives us information about their content and their uh, size and I would also say that the content comes from the 90 degree light scattering or the fluorescence light scattering and I would say the size is from the forward angle light scattering and I will also say something about the gating and that we can sort cells by some sort, by the gating mechanisms or applying a charge, applying a charge. And we can, we can assume cell sorting, cell sorting. And this is really how I would describe it. I'd make it sound a little bit more academic, but it's not, it's not very quite difficult. These are just the key phrases I would use. Let's do B. What is gating and how it can be achieved? Well, gating is basically the cell sorting mechanism, cell sorting, whereas the gating condition or gating condition or the gating threshold is a specific parameter that may be examined via the 90 degree light scattering. And this is really the fluorescence activated cell sorting. I wouldn't really bother trying to remember this, but if you do, that's fine. And how it can be achieved, we can induce uh, an electric charge after we've attained the information about the cell, and then it will be attracted to its complementary charged plate. And it will be collected at the bottom. What are the components in the optic system? Well, the components in the optic system is really, um, and give examples, well, it's, it's a light source, light source, light source. And I would say it could be either a laser, a laser, or an arc lamp. And the detectors, or collectors, or whatever you want to call them, you can have photomultiplier tubes or photodiodes, photodiodes. Diodes. Very good. What information can be obtained and by what means? I already mentioned this. Content of the of the um, of the cell at 90 degree light scattering from uh, from fluorescence and size from the forward angle light scattering. This is what we can mean. And also, if you really want to get cutesy with the department, you really want to sound uh, sound nice. You can uh, you can add to a you can add to a that the uh, flow cytometer works on hydrodynamic, hydrodynamic, on a hydrodynamic system, an optic, optic system, and an electric system. And really this was already said here, this was already said here. But this is kind of a more, you can say, cutesy way of saying I know what I'm talking about. Just breaking down the different systems, not a must. And if you really know what we're talking about in this whole question, you're really ready to tackle any sort of question. Not a whole lot that you can tackle. And this is only the bare essentials that you need to answer questions in your exams. Hopefully you found this helpful. See you in the next video.